Well, I, I hope we're not on the verge of protectionism. I would think that would be comparable to the dark ages in Europe. So, you know, we, we have to recognize that uh, the world is too small. I mean, today it's an entirely different world than when I was going to college. I mean, today things are communicated via, via CNN or via text or via email immediately. And so you can't put your head in the sand and, and pretend the rest of the world doesn't exist and that we're not interdependent on one another and that commerce is, uh, uh, is most fruitful and most profitable when it's done on a collaborative basis around the globe. You know, we do business in nine other countries besides the United States, so we have a global presence in, uh, in Asia and in uh, a minor one in, in Europe, it's in the UK, but in Canada and Mexico and Australia, and we buy products uh, in produce alone in 40-some countries around the world. So. You know, that's very important. That, that commerce around the world is extremely important for us. We can't get blueberries during the winter unless we're prepared to go down to Chile and get them. Uh, and that's going to continue, and otherwise, there are no blueberries for our customers.